Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Blue Inferno, and in today's video I tried out the Forever Winter, and I gotta say it's really janky and definitely in a, like, like alpha test state at this point in time, but I actually ended up having a lot of fun. There was points of frustration, there are lots of bugs that gotta be mentioned, but it's a very unique game with uh, so much atmosphere and love poured into it in that regard that it's really fantastic. I love that. And I also like the way that it kind of forces you to think about the war. You can see here a little early on that I am kind of scouting it out, but I just wanted to say my bit that uh, if you guys like this kind of content or if you find this helpful, make sure that you like and subscribe, comment below, and let me know if you want to see more about it. I can certainly say that it's a little too early for even my play experience to be able to advise buying it, but so far I've been having fun with it here. Looks like the scarabs are otherwise engaged. <clears throat> really hope these infantry turn on them. If I turn on the scarab things, I'll have fun. Okay, somebody's lighting up that one. There we go. We're looking pretty good. Ah, the scare of one shit. This map is so much easier compared to the Elephant Muslim. You don't have the glorious aid of the trenches. Alright, what are you guys doing? They tend to come up from here, then go down into the ravine. Then I might be able to swing around them and get on the high side. Alright. Nope. They're good. TBT means target. I just gotta take it easy. No rush here. There are random spawns. Enemies could spawn in back here at any point. Take notes. Are they going to take out that scarab? No, they're shooting the infantry in the middle. I, I think those are Europa troopers. I think they're going to be friends with the scarabs. Whoever's in the trenches, probably the Yoruska. That'd be good loot. No, the ones with the flashlights are Europa. Okay, they're friends with the Scarabs. So the, each team has like their basic infantry, their advanced infantry, and then their like heavy infantry. Okay, yeah, there's a spawn. If it weren't for the fact that I know the floating mechs are Europa, There'd be almost no hope of figuring out who's on whose side. And now to get out, you can look at the compass at the very top and see the gray square above it to my northeast. That's where my extract is. But I want to get some loot here. Those dead super troopers, that's a mech spawning in. I want to loot this, but I want to be real, real quick. doesn't matter if I see what it is. Take the destroyed gun. Ooh. Get the fuck out of here. Let's get it going. Get out, get out, get out. I don't know what I just got. Destroyed MG34. Whatever. Ah, no, 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 no. Scarab, go away. Kind of as a general rule, if you can hear them, they can, they can get you. In here has been pretty good in the past. This trench has some decent cover on all sides. You can hear the mech from really far away. I think he's still on the other side. Typically, they don't come through here from what I've seen. Although, paths seem to be pretty damn random. Sometimes there's loot up here. Let's back off. I don't want those guys to spot me. 
I got some random crap. I have no idea how good it is. If you see a little red circle indicator, you're in deep shit. Okay. They're not friends with that mech. That's good. Let's keep going. I don't like hearing it. Please go away. I'm on my business and my business. Okay, blue. This is, this is a good shit. This is what we're here for. A lot box. Rigid container cannot hold. Okay, a large box is going to be worth thousands. Shit. Get around the corner. Go, 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 go. Okay, if that runs down to zero, they're not going to find me. They're bugged out. They're bugged out. Okay, we're good. Pay attention to what's in front of us. Okay, so those guys went back to ignorant of my existence. I know where the extract is. This leads directly underneath it. <clears throat> I still need to wrap around and get through the tunnel way over there, and we can hear a mech over there. So I'm just going to play it low to the ground. Yeah, this is good so far. Alright. There's normally some kind of conflict in this kind of field over here. And something big stopping you from getting in the tunnel entrance, which is how you leave. But, you can, oh, yeah, there he is. And a tank. That's great. And there's another mech that we can hear, because that one's not moving. Now, I could try to just sneak around. Oh, he looks fucking cool, though. I'm gonna try to sneak around. The bigger something is, the more I... Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. I've noticed longer aggro times on bigger things. They'll still aggro to you, but it just takes a little bit longer. Remember, They're a little less worried about the thing. But that's it. That's how you do it. Whew. That's how you survive on Scorched Enclave. Sweet. The advanced first aid kit worth 1800 Pretty good. Better than the normal ones that I use. But over here we can see the stuff that I got to sell out of that. Yeah, the large lockbox, 15,000. The liquors, whatever. And the destroyed MG34. Definitely. Definitely where the money was at on that. Damn near 20,000. Hell yeah. 20,000 credits? That's a pretty good haul.